crucial role in this refugee crisis. First of all, they have the responsibility and the possibility to um, inform currently about uh, who the refugees are, wh what they are fleeing from, and uh, what are their hopes and dreams. The second role for media is to inform refugees about what they should expect, about the dangers, about the fact that they might be at risk of abuses. Thirdly, but not less important, medias are very important to impact institutions and authorities at all levels. I think it's very important that uh, journalists don't stay focused on one precise hot topic, like for instance the Syrian crisis in Europe. I think it's very important also to see that there are refugee crises all over the developing world and that journalists have a very strong role to play in that because you can raise awareness on those crises too. Oftentimes the media can make a crisis out of nothing or they can quash a crisis and the people don't get help or any value um, out of what it is they're trying to do, whether it be an organization or whether it be um, any NGO or governments trying to help. I know that some people are really worried and concerned about this. What I think is the great thing is about stories and data is to provide knowledge. And when you know something, you are not as worried as when you don't know something. So get to know this and I think 90 Million Project has been great providing new stories, new way of telling stories. Like having like much more empathy with the story of the people and looking at their faces behind numbers and behind data. That's uh, the main thing, like humanizing the narrative about migration. And I think even policymakers, they will start to take, to take note of this. A boat with 243 people on board disappeared and virtually no coverage. And when I asked the family members who are very frustrated about this situation, who feel like they've been abandoned by the international community, why they think that's the case, they have a very simple answer. Um, they say it's because we're Africans, it's because we're black. Um, so I think one of the things that the media can do is not, um, not confine itself to these kind of hierarchy of of, of tragic stories, when a tragic story involves um, you know, uh, sub-Saharan Africans and doesn't have a connection to Islamic terrorism, then it's ignored. Um, and you know, it doesn't make those stories any less important because the people who are directly involved in them, their suffering is just as real. The media can help the migrants telling their stories and perhaps going into their stories, go beyond the humanitarian crisis and say who are these people arriving in Europe, telling precise stories, specific stories. Migrants need to be in some way understood and in some way listened to. In a lot of articles we just see scenes very quickly and numbers and now oh, a lot of uh, millions of people are fleeing of Syria and I think we have difficult to understand the all the crisis, what it means, and to put in the place of others. And I think we need to tell the stories, the real stories, and completely the stories, not just one side of the story.